The way I see it, there are two kinds of people in the world. People who prefer Alien to the movie Aliens, and people who prefer the movie Aliens to Alien. That is just how I view people. Secrets out. Aliens. That's right, make it plural, you have a sequel. Alright, so Ridley Scott did Alien in 1979. About seven years after Alien, James Cameron comes along he's like, you know what, I want to make a sequel. Alright, so in the movie Alien, Sigourney Weaver plays Ripley again. She's been out in space. She gets picked up by the salvage team. Now she's just trying to get past the events of Alien. She, she has this post-traumatic stress syndrome going on. She wakes up every night freaking out because of the alien. Yeah, that thing will, it'll give you nightmares. It's just evil. But hey, good news, the Wayland Company has colonized LV-426 which is the planet where they found the alien ship on and oh they lost contact with it by lost contact you know for a fact that an alien has bust out of the chest of every man woman and child on there and now james cameron's gonna make his move how do we deal with that when james cameron does the sequel it's very simple you take marines down to that planet and you deal with the situation now we have the movie aliens plural. And this is what I mean when I say it's a completely different tone from Alien. It is. It's an action movie. Which is really funny because ultimately a lot of the Marines get wiped out pretty quickly. Four of them get toasted because like these grenades go off. Like boom all flatline four guys. Well they're dead. I mean you gotta give it up to Ripley on that. She has a better kill hit ratio than any of the Marines do. Now let's talk about Ripley for a second. Sigourney Weaver completely owns the role of Ripley. And as far as badass chicks go you really can't think of a more badass chick in a movie. I mean really try. Yeah, you thought of Ripley, didn't you? So did I. She was actually nominated for an Oscar for the movie Aliens 2. I didn't know that until just recently. I always knew she kicked ass in the movie Aliens, but I didn't know the Academy was like, Bruh, we see it too. Nominate her for an Oscar. It's kind of stuff that doesn't happen now. And although this movie has some kick-ass action, I mean, Aliens versus Marines, you're gonna have some kick-assery there. But yeah, it doesn't go totally out of left field and be like, oh, we're gonna wipe our ass with everything that Alien was about and we're just doing our own thing now. There were some scenes that were totally intense. The scene where Ripley's in that room with Newt and there's a couple of face huggers in there. And it's, it's just intense as hell. I like that scene. I don't want that thing near me, seriously. And I like the fact that they find that little girl Newt. Newt's awesome because Newt figured it out. You don't fight these things. You just run. You run, you hide, you just stay as far away from them as possible. I guess I'm kind of ass backwards in that sense. My first alien experience for alien movies was aliens. I was a little kid. I was flipping through channels and there was a scene where the queen was right up against the grate, you know, the elevator grate. Big old flamethrower shooting at her. My mom switched the channel. I was like, what was that? I was like, Eight. She was like, that is a movie you're not gonna watch until you're much older. Then I got much older and I watched it and it was awesome. I mean, that alien queen is one menacing bastard. And that's also another thing that the movie Aliens does. In the movie Alien, you don't know anything about this alien. It's just that it's it's an alien. You don't know how it operates. The movie Aliens establishes the fact that they operate like a hive, you know, like a beehive. Bunch of drones and one queen that's really calling the shots. And this queen alien in Aliens is just, it, dude, it's enormous. It's just... It's big. And as far as sci-fi movies go, Aliens has one of the most iconic throwdowns, just one-on-one -on -one battles at the very end that I can think of. I mean, Ripley versus the Queen Alien when she's been that big mech thing, all like, get away from her, you bitch! You know that line is just the best. Yeah, and unlike Scream 2, I actually said it correctly. <laughs> there that is. But Marines versus Aliens, Ripley's a badass, you have some creepy-ass moments, you have a lot of excitement. Aliens is one of my favorite action movies. It's just, it's just all sorts of kick-ass. And Aliens is awesome-tacular. Game over, man! Game over! What the fuck are we gonna do now? In a world of alien or aliens, I'm an aliens guy myself. I just am. You know that by now. All right, so are you an alien person or an aliens person? Which one do you prefer? If you say alien resurrection, to, well, art is subjective. I guess that's an acceptable answer. Uh, kind of. Whatever the case, your favorite alien movie, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. Game over!